Hello everybody, my name is Jim Lazy, and today I'm going to be showing you a bit of a different video. I'm going to be showing you a clip of me and my friends playing Iron Banner and talking about things I want in Destiny in general. Now before I start, let me take a drink of my coke. Alright then, sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, there's already a lot of things people already want in the game, such as gun shaders, ship shaders, sparrow shaders, different sorts of shaders for different things. And uh, there's a couple shaders that I would like too. I want the ability to have the ability to shader my abilities, if that makes sense. So let's give examples. So let's say that flaming head that you get from uh, being the nightfall. What if I want a pink flaming head or a green flaming head or an orange flaming well I mean yeah it's blue so yeah an orange flaming head what if I want different colored flaming heads well I want that that ability to do that but with my abilities as well so let's say instead of, instead of wanting to be a red uh, sunbreaker or I guess the orange sunbreaker I want to be a blue sunbreaker with blue flames so I can match my blue flaming head you know I just want the ability so that I could match with my character even more I know that sounds kind of I guess girly a bit, but you know what? That's what I want. I want to be able to be able to match with my armor and be able to let's say I'm part of Dead Orbit. I want to be able to have a black fire coming from me, or like I guess like a purplish fire coming from me, whatever option I have that closely resembles black. Or if I'm part of the new monarchy, I want to have a red blade dancer, a red storm caller ability instead of you know shooting red lightning bolts from my hand or have a red blade in my hand. So I can match with my so-called colors in my faction, you know? I want to have that ability to customize my abilities as well. That's what I mean. Alright, in terms of game types, um, things I want. Well, there's really things people want, I think, like, uh, like in that, like, let's say, uh, I guess people want big, I guess, big team battle, kind of, or maybe uh, team snipers or something like that. I know, like, team snipers is a little bit more harder because it's like, you know, in the game you have, uh, Sniper, you bring in the guns you want, so I'm not sure if that would be possible unless they make it so that they give you a standard sniper for everybody, which I think they could probably do, you know, so they dealt with their other games. But I guess that would have to come in a new game. But whatever, game types I want. So I was thinking about it, and then, you know, the main thing I want in general is custom games. I'm pretty sure other people want that too, just be having the ability to practice with your team or just make like a game type in Forge World. Such as uh, you know, Halo, which is where I'm getting this all from. I want that that whole feeling again, where it's not just PvP and PVE, because that's all it feels like. Because in PVE, PvP, all I really play is control, and you know, I also play, I guess, Iron Banner and, and uh, what's it call it, um, Trials of Osiris. I want to be able to have a little bit more casualness to the whole PvP uh, scene. You know, I want to be able to play Duck Hunt or Fat Kid, if that, which is a zombie game type in uh, Halo, or uh, you know, what else is there? Just regular infection, like that was in Halo. You know, there's other game types I want too. That would be cool. That's you know, I want the ability to be able to customize your 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 character more, like not character, the game type more. And I think a new cool game type they could have for Destiny that wasn't in the other games is this. So I was thinking about you know the Hunter and how it kind of closely resembles the. The infection in Halo 3, like the, in the game type, you know, you have this fast moving invisible guy with the lightning blade, you know, the, the energy sword, which is basically the hunter, a fast moving, you know, invisible guy with the electric sword. And then I started thinking about it more, and it, the, it brings me to the, the game uh, called Evolve, which is like this game where you hunt monsters, and how the a lot of the monsters resemble the three classes, some, some of the class abilities in this game. Such as Blade Dancer, how it closely resembles the Wraith. The Wraith is a monster in Evolve that could go invisible, has giant scythes on his hands, and has the ability to like go up to people and spin around in circles and slash everything. It has this uh, cloning ability to trick people. And that, to me, that kind of sounds like Blade Dancer. And, uh, and you're probably saying, but the Blade Dancer can't clone. Like, no, but that's like a trickster ability. What trickster ability does the Blade Dancer have? I would say Blink. I know, I know it's a jump, but it's a te definitely a technique people use to trick people. I mean, you're in front of people, you're about to smash them 
with your your shoulder with your rocket or your, I mean not you smash with your rocket but you shoot him with your rocket or jump in the air and smash him with your uh, Titan smash and he blinks out of it and it just completely bamboozles you or like he's right in front of you and he blinks and he jumps somewhere in the air and you're like where is he and he comes behind you and kills you you know that whole trickster mentality you know it's kind of the same and what other things that I mean, I'm not just saying that's like the only thing that resembles the characters in Destiny. Also, the other characters like the Goliath, or the first character, which is this giant brooding monster that breathes fire. What's uh, gonna be in the future DLC? Sunbreaker for Titans, which is a brute that has a flaming ability, sort of like the Goliath. What else is there? Uh, let's see, the Kraken, the thing that flies in the air and shoots lightning. Let me see, Stormcaller Warlock. Hello, yeah. So there's a lot of things that resemble those. Now, I'm not saying I want a game type where you have to fight a super strong blade dancer or super strong sunbreaker, super strong uh, stormcaller. I'm just saying it could possibly be a little bit stronger, so that you know you have a little bit more health than a normal blade dancer, and you're a little bit faster than a normal blade dancer, and you stay invisible a little bit longer than a normal blade dancer. But of course, you won't have any guns. The perks that they, let's say that you make this game type so that your perk set in the game as an infected is different than a normal character like you don't have the ability to throw grenades or be able to have to have the ability to of course get headshots and be able to reload faster whatever that ability is for the gunslinger you won't have those abilities because you don't have a gun you would only have the your shooting lightning like your long range lightning attack as a storm caller or your you know your throwing the hammer as a titan and being able to do that stuff you won't have the every single ability you would have a custom ability that Bungie would make for that specific character in this game type which I think would be cool to have this it wouldn't be the same like all the game types and games already you have to deal with all the same stuff you have the same guns that you normally use same abilities and, you know nothing's really different you're playing with the same stuff the only thing that seems different is the mayhem which is a new game type coming up with where you have faster recharge rate for all your abilities and even with that you're not really playing anything different you're just having to use your abilities more often you still all have all the same guns and all the same abilities with this game type it'll be a little bit different because you can't use all the abilities in your, your skill tree that you're normal with you would have set abilities given to you for, by Bungie of course for this game type so um what I think that would be cool is that, you know, you start off the game, it's one zombie blade dancer versus uh, six uh, regular, uh, you know, guardians. And you say, like, that's kind of unfair, but that's how it kind of was with Halo. Where, you know, you start with one strong, invisible, uh, infected guy coming after six people, and even though he would die over and over again, eventually he would kill somebody and, and turn that person to infected to start helping out. Where they could have that, uh, you know, they could have, do that with uh, Destiny, and make it even better you know there's there's always something i wanted in halo which is which um what, what did i want um and the ability in, in halo for in forge world that i wanted was to be able to spawn npc uh, not npcs uh, the ai you know i want to be able to spawn a hunter or a grunt or a elite i want that ability in a forge mode maybe for destiny where like you can make the game type you can make the map you can make the game type let's say we have this game type what i'm talking about kind of like evolve where you have your strong monster that has a certain ability kind of, kind of like those creatures and you start off in the map away from the enemies and you know you gotta make yourself get the advantage so you're around the map looking for an advantage and you come up with this uh, you come towards this this let's say this little console that opens gates to release let's say 50 or 60 throw uh yeah throws and they all start rushing the enemies and there's a bunch of them of course they're weak and they can get one shot, but they all the enemy starts getting soldering by all these thralls, and then you come out invisible, come out around them, and start cutting them down one by one. I mean, I think that would be cool to be able to customize the game so much that you can make it so that the the AI could fight with you, and that so you can make this whole game type thing a little bit more fun and a realistic kind of zombie feel. You know what I mean? And I'm not just talking about a zombie game type. There could be multiple game types. You could bring back Dog Hut because you can make your maps, you can make your little path, you can make the one person that's infected shooting all the guardians trying to get to him. You can make a halo race like they did, you know, with your sparrows. I think that would be awesome. I mean, I don't know what else would be better. I mean, people are talking about like bring back game types and want more game types. A simple way to fix that, well, I guess it's not really too simple, I'm not sure, 
But um, a cool a, a way to fix that is let the community make what they want to make, like how they did with Halo, with the whole Forge mode system, with the whole you know custom game system where they can make their own game types and they can make their own maps in Forge World. And I think that would be awesome. And I guess that's for the most part. Uh, the majority of what I want, I can't really think of anything else I want really right now because uh, it's kind of late and <laughs> I can't think too much. But you know what? That's that's the majority of what I want to be able to customize characters even more and to have more things in Destiny besides black and white. And what I mean by black and white is PvP and PVE. I want to be able to have this sort of middle area, the gray area, the blue area, the yellow area, where it's multiple things, where it's super casual stuff, where you get to be creative and then have fun with it, you know? Not just black and white. I want more options. Because like, as, as it is in Destiny, there's hard, there's hardy, it's hard to have reasons to come back to the game. Now, there's a lot of, uh, you know, of course to do, I guess, in PvE when you first start. And of course, you could play PvP. But like in PvP, there's like, it's... I said all I'm playing is control, and it's on the same maps that they have. And for PVE, I've already been in like every raid and have been like Skolas a bunch. And it's like where I'm starting to lose people. Like you know, we've done it so much that you know people I usually do it with don't really do it anymore because we've already done it so much times. So you know they don't have a reason to come back because already done everything. For me, I've done it even more times than they have, and I have like m like basically all the exotics. One of my friends already has all the exotics. I. I, the only thing I don't have is like neck chasm, and that's because I don't want it. <laughs> I should probably get it for the future DLC, but you know it's 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 whatever. I'll get that if I need to. But you know what? As far as I'm concerned, there's not too much to come back for. I think with the ability to make your own custom games, it would have more reason for some people. I'm not saying for everybody, because obviously not everybody likes the whole custom game and forest mode idea. But I think it'll bring more variety to the game making more game types for the game that Destiny, that, that Bungie doesn't really have to make themselves, I guess, you know? I guess they have to make the base idea of the game type, but still, it's like, being able to make, have give the community and say, hey, community, you want a game type? Here you go, make it however you want. You can spawn in thralls, you can spawn in knights at a certain time, you can play infection where you're in a safe house and you have to fight off the horde of thralls and and knights, I guess, you can make your own sort of, I guess, firefight type deal. You know, that'd be awesome. Be able to have that, that custom ability and your, you know, your uh, super casual game types, you know? I don't know. But I guess I should stop all this rambling and possibly end the video because it's starting to get a bit long. But yeah, I know, it's a bunch of stuff I just talked about. Maybe I didn't make any sense with any of it. But you know what? That's some of the things I want in this game. And... If you guys like this, and you guys like these ideas, hey, thumbs up the video, subscribe, stay for more. If you guys have an idea yourself, leave it in the comments and tell me, because I, I like talking about all this stuff that would be cool to have in a game, and what's coming up in the game, and just I just like talking about the game in general, not even just Destiny, but other things, but if you guys have an idea, leave it in the comments. If you guys like the video, leave a like so other people could see it, and maybe Desky, Destiny could see it and say, hey, the community really wants it, let's give it to them. But, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you again for watching. And as always, guys, keep being lazy. Bye-bye now. Hey, guys, there's one more thing I forgot to mention concerning Devil May Cry. Now, I've been recording Devil May Cry recently, and unfortunately, the last episode I, I recorded, there was a boss battle that contained copyright music, and I, unfortunately, because of that, I couldn't upload the video. So what I'm going to do is maybe uh, cut the video in half and upload the first part, and try to see if I could do the boss battle again without the music, and then recording that, uh, uploading that part. So uh, don't worry, guys, I will be recording it again, and you will be seeing it shortly. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep being lazy. Bye-bye now.